Hello guys and welcome to episode 28 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign, playing as Kostaltin, leading the Great Orthodoxy to save Urson. Today though we're going to be hopefully wiping out the Demons of Chaos, after previously freeing Boris Ursus, who we actually gave an army to, so that's cool. We're going to be seeing him in battle soon. But yeah, let's grab Kostaltin, we're going to be trying to wipe out Melchior here. Well, Melchior actually did a runner. Would you look at that? Well, we're going to chase him down. I don't think I'm going to order resolve because I'm worried it's going to chip us a little bit too much in a battle that is actually, I think, quite simple for us. So let's jump on in. I think this is a sort of battle where I could, in theory, probably just run forwards with Kostalt and the Patriarch and the Bear and kill them all. But what we'll probably do is set up the battle line as normal and then have Kostaltin kind of sponge the missile shots from the Sinch forces. The Sinch demons. Because the rest will probably just die before they even get close due to the missile fire. Uh, where's a good place for us to go? Honestly, they might come towards us actually, so let's just kind of chill. If they do come towards us, that'd be great. We fight for Ursun. We fight for Ursun. Warriors, follow the bear. Okay, start the battle. Are they going to come to us? Looks like it. But we can use the bears and stuff to kill the stuff on the right flank, so that's totally fine. I'm just going to wait for them to get close enough, though. Was she flying? No, she's not. Kind of looked like she was. I don't know why. I do have to be careful of the range forces attacking us. Just charge each of these. Right, on that left side, we're going to charge into those. I'd say so far, so good. Oh, those heavy war sleds do a lot of damage, wow. And the bears, of course, doing a fantastic job. Really even have to use these abilities. And they go with the sync forces. Alright. Well that leveled up my bears a bit more. That's for sure. I will just run these down. Although I think they already ran away, didn't they? So technically we don't need to do this. Yeah, we'll just leave it there. That was probably a lot better than the order resolve would have given us. It would have chipped our units, I think, quite a bit. 
This way, we don't lose any. Yeah, I'm a big fan of how well the heavy war sleds did. I was a bit concerned that the war sleds, like if they charge in and get surrounded, they'd take a load of damage, but it wasn't too bad. And they pretty much deleted the unit even before the bears did. I guess the charge maybe was just that strong. If this wasn't so like elite, I would definitely get another heavy heavy war slot in there. Oh, heavy war sled in there. <laughs> uh let's grab replenishment. Lovely. So that's deleted them. Uh we could also attack this army if we wanted to. But I think what we'll do Betrayers. is maybe go into encamp and push up towards the ultra spawns, maybe. Obey. Although I kind of feel like I should just go as far as I can this turn, just so I can take that out next turn before they recruit too many troops. Yeah, we'll do this. That's fine. I think he's almost maxed out. He is maxed out. Cool. Alright, let's go over to Yosef, who is going to be able to take Marienburg, which is great. Grab her thing. Um, and we'll move out of encamp and go take this. Alright, we got ourselves some ogres to kill. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I really need to add a siege attacker. Why do I not have a siege attacker in this army? That's annoying. Right. Well, no. Not a big deal. It, I think it still stops them from recruiting, so. Totally fine. I'm so used to just having a siege attacker. Right here, it's time to take out Bessening. So we're going to move up with Sarina Catherine. It wastes my time. Why can't she go there? Frost winds carry me. That's fine. We'll do that. Lovely. It says period victory. So we will play it out. Let's jump on in. So we have a lot of ranged forces. This should be relatively simple. I was just thinking, do I want to take this for myself like do I want to occupy it I think we could and I probably should actually especially for replenishment purposes it is if there's like another big army nearby that I need to deal with or maybe of Nurgle or something Okay, this is probably the best place for us to start, actually, so that's good. Follow the bear! Pull these over here. I'm going to just shoot that tower. Easy peasy. So I'm having these guys close on the edge because, yeah, I thought they might build this. But I don't think there's really much I can do about it. Like, I'm not going to be able to really get there in time, I don't think. Kill that mammoth anyway, it's totally fine. 
We'll just move back a little bit here. So we basically got the Strauts here just annihilating them. <laughs> And I got some more reinforcements coming in over here now. So we can pretty much do the same thing here. Or I could walk around. I think we might walk around. If I consolidate my forces, we can just obliterate them as they come through this gap. I'm really taking a bit of friendly fire there. Look at the damage. Insane. Yeah, we'll just run them all around here. Because if they keep coming through the gap like this, totally fine. And then again, like, this tower is annoying. I'm gonna run out of ammo soon. <laughs> Annihilate them! Is that a giant? Yeah, it is. A Norskan giant. Obey the orthodoxy! Armored Quasar! Defenders of Kislev! Norskin giant too slow. Alright, good. All right, I can probably set these throughout to here actually. With some of these lads. This game and saves thing is getting a little close for comfort. I might pull these back because they're just taking so much damage. Those are Marauder Champions. Uh, let's have all of my like lords and that lot go that way. Oh, I didn't take down this tower again. Should be able to take that down pretty fast. Good. Gossars. So be it. Oh, we're gonna move one of these forwards. Once that's destroyed, move up here. Let's just continue pushing up here. Because I don't really have much round on that left side, whereas. Most of the stuff's over here, but we can just let my range forces delete any units that try and approach. Wolf top Kislevites! March 
Hearts with pride. March for peace, land. Yeah, we can just drop this in here in a second. We'll do it once they arrive. Over here. Destroyed those, that's good. Back, pop that down. Oh wow, she's uh, taking a bit of damage there. Let's get her out. Ouch. No, 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 no. Don't kill her. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Fuck yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage as well. Follow the bear. Kislev, supreme leader. Does she have a guardian? She does. We'll get both of them out. I've almost killed all of those. The Ice Queen. I'm going to be able to do Sally Axe on the Vice soon. We take up arms. And both of these are doing a decent job. He's still hunting this Whatever mage. Oh, she's struggling as well. Oh, wow. Ouch. Oh, damn. Tell you what. These individuals, like these heroes, like the Wyrkin, are doing a ton of damage. That mammoth should be dead very quickly. It's all of the arrows land. I'm so constantly shooting it with Sauti. There we go, that's victory. Crikey. That was uh, <laughs> less than ideal for my heroes. But we'll wait for the last Saliax lullaby. Of that, get some of that healing going. All right, that was spicy battle. I really like how these Strauzzi perform though in those kinds of battles, they do really well. Also, it looks like they still had a lot of men remaining, but I guess it's because I already killed like the mammoths and stuff. So their equivalent health pool had dropped quite a lot. And we'd barely lost anything, really. And most of the damage was going on my heroes, so it saved a lot of my other troops. Yeah, so we're going to take this. Although I don't think we replenish anyway, oh, right? Because... Fair. We oh, currently yeah. have a plague. Oh, no, we do. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. It's actually like a level 4 settlement. And we can get extra walls there. This is big. Very nice. Yeah, we can get this, like, defensive building going. That will help us out a lot. Upper market square in there. Should probably get the corruption reduction. Although, <laughs> that caused an absolute bomb because of... Go Stalton. 
We'll put the Orthodoxy Shrine in here for the corruption reduction instead. And we'll do the uh, Roadhouse for the control and growth. I don't think there's anything else I want. None of these buildings give other bonuses other than recruitment. Well, that increases global recruitment capacity, actually. Yeah, otherwise, no. Uh, actually, we could do um, this as well, the Night Patrol House. Yeah, let's do that. Stops the portals popping up. Okay, so that's province secured. If we... I don't know if I want to jump out quick here. I think Sarin is fine to do this. Okay. Spread our orthodoxy. And that's all good. Bessening's dead. Right. We will level her up. A gift from Kislev's great gods. Boyar of Kislev. And I wanted to like High sort these armies out, but my boyar here, Russ Delton's done a great job. Kislev's victory was always certain. I, mean, I guess we could make one Keith strong army. I, I probably want it to be Sarina's art, uh, like or Sarina Katrin's army that's really good, so that we can level her up. Even though this guy has really proven himself many times. Uh, the recruitment cost reduction there is kind of pointless, but the reassuring presence is nice. I think I'm just going to finish maxing them out skill-wise before we do anything else. Of my unparalleled authority. Plenty of levels to give here. Nice. Let's head over to Evelina. And assassinate this guy. Good. Move up with Pyotr. He's going to help with any corruption reduction we need. And yeah, we're still doing the siege there, so that's fine. Maybe they'll sally forth. That would actually make things a bit easier for us. Or at least make them faster. We do have building upgrade, but I don't want to do that. We do have commandment available. I need to do the one that helps with corruption. And power of the church <laughs> reduces the chance of the plague spreading. That's going to be really useful. One land. Well, did I say that? The corruption is actually really low here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the control then would be better. The purge the steps for the minus 20% campaign map movement range could be useful. Yeah. Okay. Everything's done. Move on to the next turn. This could be the turn that the portals arrive, so I only need to pay attention. But we are looking pretty strong now. Like, comparatively to other factions, uh, strength is pretty good. Uh, looks like Scrag might go for Salzenmund. And there's not really much I can do about it at the moment. Oh, the Crimson Skull are going to be able to <laughs> reinforce that. That's annoying. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Some strife in the Empire. 
destroying each other. Right, let's just speed things up now, because I don't think there's anything else I need to care about. Yeah, all good. Oh, Talibic land got destroyed. Okay. Um, mission issued. Capture and occupy Marienburg. Well, I mean, that's pretty much what we're about to do. So I will be okay with that mission. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just take our units and we'll jump on in. I didn't actually see if this was like a reasonably high level settlement, but if it is, that'd be very nice. Though no, actually, aren't they all like, yeah, I was surprised last time that they were all just like standard settlements rather than like big settlements. Marienburg is a big port. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh well. Maybe as long as it's like level three, then it's good. Can these ogres go on walls, actually? I'm not sure they can. But we could definitely use that to our advantage, like particularly on this right-hand side. And we use these to get on the tower, and then we climb up the walls on the right here. with our units and then these pretty much all go for the gate I didn't mean to have those armor cossars there they don't have anyone on the walls at all I never really thought about this before, like, they're going to be so bad. I can just line up here and kill them. If they let me. We do have the Noblar trappers up there. They're just throwing their knives at us. Rude. I am the squall. Armored Gossars! from the hiding place! Kislevites moving! Almost allowed to up here the, the most. I would just pull my chariots out of there, the light war sleds, and I'll be ready with my people and their bears ready to engage them. Probably send at least one of these units to kill the Noblars. If we move these inside, they'll start attacking us. Cut them down. I think. 
and then we can shoot them as they engage us. These threads here should not be off the walls. Too bad. I can certainly put this down. That will help us out a bit. I could also buff up my dude. of damage with that magic. Also plenty of damage coming in from Strauzzi as well I imagine. that guy even more. Just bringing her around the other side <laughs> and then we can engage him. That's victory. Just as well, ogres haven't learned to climb walls yet. Save me a lot of men. Yeah, so fighting them in the open probably would have been a bad idea in comparison to that because that was just easy. Apologies if I just hit my mic there. <laughs> Marienberg is ours. We're also going to get an extra 1,500 cash from the quest. And now we can carry on to the rest of the lands in this area. Continue whittling down the Disciples of the Moor. Decent chunk of experience. More tax payments. Excellent. Oh wait, it is a major settlement. Oh okay, maybe it wasn't maybe it was a minor settlement for them. That might be what happened there. I don't really want to get rid of the merchant trader here, but I do want to get the wall building ASAP. And I believe you can start building it from level two, so yeah, we're gonna to wanna to get that. Oh yeah. I'll put a Windmaker there for that guy. And this one can now go Icon of Strength. Oh, nice. We got a Talisman of Preservation. 
That's really good. I'm going to give that to Costout and make him even stronger. That's big. Very big. And that Talisman of Endurance. We can maybe put that in Yusuf if he doesn't have one. Yeah, nice. We're going to Costout in. Uh, the Norsecan army is stopping us from moving. Okay, <laughs> hopefully we're still in range. The infidel die. We are. Okay, good. This says it's going to be a decisive victory. <laughs> if I'm going to take it, we'll order resolve. Let's just uh, encircle. I want to see if I'm going to take this. Mm, maybe not. Because it belongs to this house by mountains, which means we'd have to take Grailing Moot, and I think the Ultra Spawns is up here. So we'd probably just raise it. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll play it out to avoid, or try and avoid losses. And then when we raise it, it will push us back, and this would also wipe out the Legion of Chaos, I think. If I push us back, I mean it's going to send us back towards Doomkeep. I was considering colonizing the province to the right of Doomkeep. Because there's nothing there. It's just free settlements if I want to take it now. Especially since the Legion of Chaos are dead. Hmm. Right, this is going to be similar to the other battle we played. Except I'm going to be a bit more forceful. So I'm going to do what I did here. And then we're just going to have Gostalt in Russian here. Actually, I should probably move all of these in here, actually. And have these shoot that down. The reason I have to bring my range forces over here is because of the Bihars. really well. I'm going to use the blast. I'm not even sure what this blast does. Like a missile attack. Apparently. This is just like fireball. Oh, they built that annoyingly. It's okay, we'll just go break it down. I also didn't bring my bear in here. Oops. Old Snow Leopard should be good to take out a bunch of these Chaos Knights. Right now we've taken out like the initial units. If we can open this up a bit more, we can just destroy all of these blue horrors pretty easily. Of 
We just charge through every unit, you know, I think, you know. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, I'll bring these guys inside. We got rid of those towers that are going to be annoying. It's good. There we go, the heavy wall sledge is riding through them. Are those ones uh, destroyed? So we'll just cycle charge these instead. Oh, look at the damage! <laughs> the heavy wars. Let's go through. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Alright, let's uh, kill this little fella. Good. Alright, those are dealt with. Let's get the bears out of the way. We'll just let my heroes kill him. Ooh, ouch. Kill this boy quickly, please. There we go. That's it, that's victory. Easy peasy. No damage whatsoever. Well, maybe a little bit onto those Cossars, but otherwise all good. Again, the heavy war sleds there, just super impressive watching them mow down these light units. It's the perfect target for them. Hopefully, that's the end of the Legion of Chaos, which would be really, really good for us. Because it means one less person who's going to make incursions into our lands. We'll probably just raise this. I would not be surprised if the Norskans colonize it, but it doesn't really matter that much. There we go, faction destroyed. Perfect. And we got the mission done, so another 2,000 on top of the 2,400 we got. Find new combats fast. Okay. Yeah, he can come back up here towards Doom Keep. Uh, we want to, of course, get the walls upgraded here ASAP. And yeah, I was talking about the Trollheim Mountains. Uh, colonizing the Trollheim Mountains might be a good idea. Just because it's like uh, 
an entire settlement that we do have like control over kind of especially like with doom keep under our control eventually we will move up and destroy all of these guys anyway yeah anyway that's it for now because unfortunately guys it has been my time next time around uh, what we'll do is we'll work out where we're going to go with these two units I and mean, one of them well maybe both of them actually have to head back towards Krakadrak because we've got a big old Nurgle army and then also the uh, Crimson Skull there that we're going to want to take out uh, down here we're going to want to build these walls there is a saint charmy nearby so building that up asap is pretty important so i think oh, both yeah. of these are going to head back this way so that's what we'll start doing with them we'll try and push the uh crimson skull off this area and uh, maybe we can move up here and destroy them afterwards we'll see that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye yeah,